There are a lot of mics out there, probably too many mics, which is crazy because at its core, a mic does one thing. It takes a sound and it makes it recordable. So why then are there so many microphones? Well, other than the fact that it's a super lucrative industry, there are a lot of different sounds that need to be recorded in a lot of different types of rooms and a lot of different uses. So when you ask the question like, why do I choose this mic when I record in this room versus this mic when I record in this room and this mic when I live stream on Twitch? Well, I've got an answer for all those questions and I wanna share with you my process of picking a microphone, everything you need to know about picking your microphone, and as, as quickly as possible. If we can condense this down and make this super digestible, I'm gonna call it a win. As long as you guys don't mind me pushing my merch first, we did just release our first merch drop in years with a brand new website, link to that in the description, with a handful of designs, including this one, this one right here, and even more designs coming later this month, early January. And I decided to do something kind of weird and make it easy for people who wanna buy more than one. Maybe you want a hoodie and, you know, this, this idiot beanie or this genius beanie but if you hit the join button on this channel and pay five dollars you'll get five dollars off as many items as you want so yeah if you want two items in the store you can pay five dollars to get ten dollars off i didn't go to school for business so yeah thanks for letting me plug my merch think we can do this in five minutes i'm terrible at doing things in five minutes we're gonna try and at the end of this video i'm just gonna share with you some of my personal favorite microphones just so you have some direction Before we start the five minute timer, I just want you to know this video wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for sizzle.gg. Plus, if you're looking for a microphone to improve your content, you should also be looking at tools like sizzle.gg to improve your content. Sizzle.gg is your own built-in free automated video editor. It watches your live streams and then cuts them up into clips and compilations for you to post on YouTube or on TikTok or anywhere. Literally, it just makes free content for you to reach larger audiences and grow your following. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention at the end of this, they're going to do a $25 giveaway for two of you that decide to sign up for free accounts. So hang out for that. But how it works is you just sign up for a free account on sizzle.gg with either your Twitch or a YouTube account. You choose which live stream you want it to edit for you and then you let it know what game you are playing and it goes through and it just makes your content. It's even so sophisticated that you can filter it by kills, headshots, knockdowns, sniper kills, and victories so you get the compilations that you want for your content. So for you gaming streamers looking to grow your audience, this really is one of those work smarter, not harder kind of things. Sign up for a free account at the link down below, which will enter you in to win $25, just cash PayPal to you that you can spend on whatever you want. Back to microphones. Are you ready to start this five minute counter? I think so. Picking a microphone, step one, the first thing you need to decide is if you want a condenser mic or a dynamic mic. These are the two most common types of microphone and they're very different. They even look different. You can tell them apart by looking at them. Hold on a second. Let's start with condenser microphones because that's kind of the standard here. Condenser mics are what you typically see in recording studios and they're usually what's called side address microphones where you talk into the side of it like this. These microphones are very detailed. They pick up everything, including almost everything around them. This is why they're typically used in recording studio settings where you want to pick up every detail from the person's voice, but you're also in a very well-treated room so you don't hear any wall reverb or maybe AC noise. Dynamic mics, on the other hand, are like this one or either of these two or their top address. You talk into the top part right here. These microphones are much better at rejecting any noise that's not coming from right in front of it. So from the sides or far away. You probably noticed when I was walking back in from the other room that I was really quiet because this is a dynamic mic. That's what makes these microphones much better for things like podcasts where you have multiple people talking in a room and you don't want them all being picked up by every mic or a live stream where you have keyboard and mouse clicks on the desk right behind the microphone you don't want picked up. So if you're using your mic for a Twitch stream or maybe a not very well treated room like this one, you probably want a dynamic mic, but if you're using your mic in a place where your voice is really the only thing it's going to hear, you're probably going to want a condenser mic. There's also something called ribbon mics that we're not going to get into because you will never use one. And then there's shotgun microphones, which are actually also just condenser microphones, but based on like the shape and the build of the microphone, it does a little bit better job of rejecting the side noises. And that's typically what people use if they want a microphone a little bit further away from them. Let's move on to the next thing. Big, big question in microphones, XLR versus USB. It used to be the case that USB microphones were cheap and low quality and XLR microphones were high quality, that's not the case anymore. In fact, one of my favorite microphones is a USB microphone and it's phenomenal. See, for your voice to be recorded, it needs to go through three things. It first needs to go into a microphone, then through a pre-amplifier or a preamp, and then into an analog to digital converter. An XLR microphone is only that first thing. It's just a mic and then you need some kind of interface that has the preamp right here and the converter built into it to send it out to USB and be recorded. A USB microphone has all three built into it, which is why certain microphones that have an XLR version and a USB version, usually the USB is more expensive. It's just the same microphone, 
but with a couple more components built in. Now, keep in mind, these components have gotten so good over the last decade that you can fit them all into a single device and still be super high quality. So why would you pick one over the other? The real advantage is simplicity versus customization. With this XLR microphone, not only can I plug it into any interface of choice, whether it's the Go XLR Mini if I wanted to game with it, or I can plug it into this camera interface that just mounts to the top and records it straight to the footage. But I can also add other signal processors and effects in the middle of it, like we do in the recording studio. With a USB mic, everything you need is right here. You plug this into the computer, and you're done. So while USB doesn't necessarily mean lower quality than XLR, usually XLR mics are made for a more professional audience and USB mics are made for people who don't really have much audio background and they do get cheaper. But all right, now that we have the big two questions out of the way, how do you choose one? Well, it turns out there's a very important factor that makes this question really easy. What you are using the microphone for dramatically determines which kind of microphone you should get. Because at the end of the day, how good a microphone works for you is based on two things. How good does it sound and what features does it give you? And there are a lot of microphone features. So let me share with you the most important ones that I look at whenever I'm buying a microphone. If you're live streaming, one of the most important things you need is mixing software. You need to be able to turn your teammates up and down or the game volume up and down or music volume up and down individually and really quick. If you've got an XLR mic, there are interfaces that do that. Or if you got a USB mic, almost every one of the companies now makes their own software that also does that. Also does that mixing software have hardware compatibility? So I can reach up and slide a fader or turn a dial rather than having to alt tab out of my game and drag something on my screen. For example, the Stream Deck Plus works really well with the Wavelink to assign different audio channels to the dials on there. The Beacon Mix Create is great to use with a Beacon mic, or even the Rodecaster Duo is a, is a great fader based mixer for XLR mics. Another major feature is whether or not there's a headphone jack built into the microphone that allows you to hear your microphone back in your ears in real time if you like to hear yourself. When your microphone or interface doesn't have a headphone jack and you plug your headphones into your PC, you're actually hearing your voice after it's been converted to digital and there's a delay added to it. So you're hearing a little bit of latency and it doesn't work very well. You don't want to do that. And the last feature that's probably the most important is how good are the effects that you can put on your voice. For example, the Elgato Wavelink software allows you to take any third-party effect and add it into any of your channels so you can put a noise gate on your teammates if they're being too loud. This is why I actually really like the Beacon mic that I use, which is a USB microphone with a headphone jack built into it, but they actually built the effects processor inside the microphone. So it gets to go through all those effects and they're very good effects before going to your headset. The downside of that is you don't get to use any third party effects. All right, we've started to get pretty nitty gritty here. Let's back out for a second and kind of finish this off. If you're looking to use your microphone live, generally you're looking for a little bit more feature rich because you need a lot of these effects to be added in real time. Whereas if you're making something for a YouTube video that's recorded, I like to record everything raw and then we can add all the effects later in post. If you're looking to use a microphone while gaming, a USB microphone might be what you're looking for because then you have to use less desk space for an interface. Plus a USB microphone is a little bit more powered so you can add some RGB to it. And by the way, if you didn't know, that's why XLR microphones don't have RGB because you can't send enough power over an XLR cable. Now you know, but my biggest and last recommendation on the list for picking a microphone is watch videos on microphones. There are lots of great audio channels that go over every new microphone that's been released. Podcastage, podcast stage, pod, podcastage. Before I buy a microphone, I watch his video on it because they're very unbiased and very thorough. And my general rule of thumb is this, if there are two microphones and you can't hear the difference between the two, usually neither can your audience. So don't worry too much about it. But favorite microphones, by the way, did we get under five minutes? How close were we? I'm not counting the suggestions in the five minutes. So if we did under five minutes, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Let's start with XLR. Obviously I use the SM7B a lot because it's a classic and it is a very good sounding microphone, but I also really love of the Rode pod mic. And they also just got like a Batman out black version as well as like a Stormtrooper white version. This thing is a hundred bucks and it sounds 80% as good as this microphone. As for XLR condenser microphones, the AT2020 is a, is a classic great microphone for a great budget price. I am currently using the Sennheiser MKH416, but that's a thousand dollar shotgun microphone. It, it does sound good though. My favorite USB dynamic mic is the Beacon mic. It's so versatile, so flexible and high quality. There aren't a ton of cheap USB dynamic microphones. Like there's the pod mic USB, but that's also $200. And so for $80 more, you get a whole mixing suite and everything with the Beacon. So I think 
for USB dynamic microphones. The Beacon's going to be my main suggestion. And then you get into USB condenser mics and there are a bajillion to choose from. The Elgato Wave mic is fantastic and it comes with a whole mixing suite, a ton of features, and it's pretty low cost. I want to say you can get it for like 130 bucks on Amazon right now. But I always forget some good ones. What mics am I missing? Leave them in the comments down below. Leave some suggestions for other people. Did you find this helpful? I really hope you did. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments. If you don't have any thoughts, just leave an emoji, you know, for engagement. Hit the like button and subscribe while you're down there. And as always, happy streaming.